these activities, however different they may seem, have the same purpose, to maintain your body. The simplest forms of life have just one cell and simply absorb food through the cell walls to preserve life. Human beings are infinitely more complex, put together from billions of different cells. But as the single cell organism works independently to preserve its life, so all the cells of the body work together to maintain the body. The body's cells can look very different, but each forms part of a special body system, and each of these systems works together. Some cells make up the body's fueling system. Others contribute to the monitoring system, the senses. Others help in the task of coordination and control, and so on. But all these complex systems have the same purpose. So although in this book the body is divided into various systems, it is worth remembering that they are really inseparably linked, working together to maintain the fragile balance of life. Hi, holy book. Hi, holy book. He chose to have his body. The name? Juice. Juice of this body. Hi, holy book. All holy books. Tiny please. Tiny please. Can you please bow body you cannot do anything? Without the body you cannot do anything. Holy books are the juice of this body. Body The body is constantly constantly We are taking We are We are Hesedi. Neglecting it. Who have five bodies? You have five bodies. Four are your own. Four. Four are your own. And please help. If five mother. The fifth is from your father and mother. Can you this body dies. When this body dies. The other four do not die. Body of matter. That is the body of matter. But body of matter is not work without. But the body of matter cannot work without <laughs> electricity. I think it is not work. Electricity cannot work without mind. Without mind. Mind cannot work. Mind cannot work. Without wisdom. Without wisdom. I go ending positive. Or psychosomatic consciousness. Indeed. Awareness. Awareness. I may not work. And awareness. Awareness cannot work without cosmic consciousness. This way, you are the giver of time. This way, you are the giver of time. Giver of time. Giver of what? Table. Table. table of life is body. The table of life depends on the body. Four feet. It has four feet. Money. One is money. And comma. And the second comma. Boys men men have enjoyment. Fulfillment, Fulfillment heart, heart desire. of all desires. All desires. Hey, hey, 
The thir for third is sharing. Big. The hey. third leg is sharing. We have money. We have money. Karma. Arthur, money, karma. We drink, be merry. And karma, sharing. Who am I? The fourth leg is who am I? Hey, I am money. All of these four depend on the body. Realization of who am I? When you imagine Bad body What body is working? Body of mind. It is the body of mind. Find you have heading. So chanting. When you have chanting, wrestling. Part body. What body is that? It's the physical body. Physical body. Physical body. When you are flying. When you are flying. Part body. What body? Body of prana. The body of prana, electricity. When you are happy. When you are happy. Body of. Ananda. The body of Ananda. When you are making any <coughs> When you are making any decision. Pardu, pardandu. What to do or what not to do. Par body. What body is prevailing? Body of mana. The body of wisdom, psychosomatic <sighs> consciousness. Herbo, tau par, behind this body. Therefore, behind this body, Hariyamara. behind this physical body is the body of prana. Open your eye. Close your <coughs> eyes. Feel electricity. Feel electricity. The pulsation of electricity. In your head and head. In your head and face. Upper brain. Upper brain. Lower brain. Lower brain. Main brain. Middle brain. Head, head to head and face. First, your head and face. Exact, exact, exact. Relax. What? Keep your head and face. Without any motion. Keep your head and face without any motion. Feel the flow of electricity. Feel the flow of electricity. Your high. In your eyes. Your nose. Mouth, tongue. Mouth, tongue. Throat. Throat. Every muscle, every muscle, and skin. Take and tender. In your neck and shoulders. Arm, palm, and fingers. Arms, palms, and fingers. Heart and lung. Heart and lungs. Without headical from Bukhana, how far it may run and bark. Without this electrical pump, how can your father be? 
Father the bill. Water well work. Bound as part. It cannot work. Yet. In the same way. In the same way. Whole part. Find that part. It always says easy. Your heart cannot work without electricity. Feel. Feel. Upper hymnal, your upper abdomen, middle, middle, and core, and lower abdomen. Abne organ, abdominal organs, feet, legs, feet, and toes. Echin button. Your skin muscles and skeleton. Now feel total electricity. Now feel the ocean of electricity. How will you know the presence of electricity? By vibration. By vibration. Find out whole body vibrating. Find out your whole body is vibrating. Is there any part of body not vibrating? Is there any part of the body not vibrating? Your body is very happy. Your body is very happy. Mind is blissful. Mind is blissful. Whole body is now cosmic TV. Your body is now the cosmic TV. Now feel, you feel, hold it down as your wave. Now you feel the ocean of radio waves. When you feel, hold it down as your wave. When you feel the ocean of radio waves. You cannot feel body of matter. You cannot feel the body of matter. Body depends, body of electricity, and your wave. What is the difference between the body of electricity and radio waves? Body is one not but without wiring. Electricity cannot work without wiring. Pile, radio wave, pine bed, without wiring. While radio waves can work without wiring. Whole body has both things. Your body has both things. You can hear 
Cosmic Nadam. You can hear Cosmic Nadam. Vibrating everywhere. Vibrating everywhere. Body is your TV. The body is your TV. You are present in your TV. You are present in your TV. Out of the TV. And out of the TV. <coughs> you are present high to high. You are present everywhere, like the blue sky. Keep your physical body motionless. Keep your physical body motionless. Thinking mind without thinking. And your thinking mind without thinking. Pain, feel, up and up, by and And feel the operation of vibration of Mother Nature. Who am I? Who am I? I am always beyond this body and thinking mind. I am always beyond this body and thinking mind.
Objective and subjective. Half seven kind. Subjective signs. You can feel. You can feel. Nobody can feel. Nobody else can feel. Tingling. They include a sensation of tingling. Hating. Hating. Chilling. Hating. Thrilling. Harm this. Numbness. To harm how you feel you have no body. Sometimes you feel you have no body. Hey, hey, physical <laughs> shock. Electrical jerks. Hey, so on and so forth. So on and so forth. Hey, no, no, no. Nadam. Hey. Yeah, father. Tremendous nodding. And how time you can have fear also. Sometimes you can have fear also. I feel fine out. That you will be passing out. Don't worry. But don't worry. Don't worry. Nobody passed out. Half <laughs> thing down. Objective signs. So, yeah, but. Maybe tremendous sound. Sound. <laughs> like. Like Nirmala. But, have shout. Shout. Don't worry. But don't worry. I will buy hearing her sound. By her sound, hearing her sound. Comedy, someday. Someday. Or suddenly. You will be uh, awakened. You will be awakened. <laughs> you cannot sleep when she yells. You cannot sleep when she shouts. <laughs> Any time, eh? In the same way. Ha. You 
having finally the sleeping energy finally howl when it hears the <coughs> sound howl might be a holy finally the sound might be kundalini must be must be kundalini awakening ha ha my not otherwise not those finally be awakening your kundalini will be awakened Any very hard any question? As I relax and go into meditation, <clears throat> without warning, there is sometimes a sound like a clap of thunder, and I even sometimes see a flash of light. Mm -hmm. It's quite startling if I forget about it. Mm -hmm. Is this what you're describing? Oh, the same thing. Same. <coughs> Call Zen Master. All Zen Masters. Make artificial sound. They make an artificial sound. Hey, hey, see, have hey sound. You have the inner real sound, <coughs> spontaneous sound. Hot, hot sound. All of a sudden. How few can see? Hey, that's it. Okay. Meditation, the caterpillar becomes butterfly. a butterfly. And him be in the same way by meditation. By meditation on high am on I am beyond the body mind. Beyond the body and mind who have become heavenly inside. You have become a heavenly Butterfly. Butterfly. <laughs> is worm representing caterpillar and bee the butterfly? Ah. And this is their way to put it? Ah. Ah, B. B. And that's man. Why I mean he? B. 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 I have a terrible. The bee and the cat. Bee, heat, heat. The bee. Heat. 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 Any question? Oh, huh. I was asking you earlier today just about, I mean, make, about smoking and you said you explained. No, not time. Okay. No question. He's not in his topic. Any question regarding the topics that have been going on since? Yes. Any questions? <coughs> non dualism and dualism. The body and mind cannot operate without dualism. 
Even the teachings of non-dualism cannot be taught in any condition except through language, which is the medium of dualism. As long as the principle of I am is identified with the body and mind, so long it is personal I am. This personal I am cannot be the source of the cosmic I am, however. The reflection of the sun in a mirror Howsoever it is bright, can never be the real sun. On the level of reflection, every picture of the sun is multiple, one of potentially many, while the real sun is one without a second. There is no beauty in non-dualism without dualism, and Vice versa, no beauty in dualism without non-dualism in the world of relativity. What will you cannot talk anything without feeling it. You, you cannot can talk anything without involving dualism. What would be the meaning of unity without multiplicity, <coughs> or multiplicity without <coughs> unity? Indeed, the body and mind without the soul are dead material, and the soul without body and mind is a ghost in the world of the five elements. A guru was telling the story of non-dualism to his students. He was explaining to them this way. This way, the root cause of this universe is the non-dual I am. God is one without a second, and the senses are the seat of dualism. As long as the non-dual I principle is identified with body and mind, so long you must work very hard for your liberation <laughs> from the prison of body and mind, although your natural state is eternally free. You find you go up, you are the angel. You are non-dual. And you find it. At the level of the third eye, you are non-dual. Father and son. It's the meeting of the father and the son. Uh, and how? Below the level of the third eye. You are many. In the universe of the senses, you are many. You are tired. How many eyes are I? You can have many eyes. I the only many eyes, but. Not only many eyes. Only you have many eyes, but uh, but he is high. But the individual eye. I do have many eyes. That also has many eyes. From morning to evening. From morning till evening. How how many eyes have you? Have? How many eyes or personas do you have? The word freedom cannot make you free, continued the guru. The word God or I am is not the real God or the real I am. Without unity of I am beyond the body and mind, there is no freedom from sorrow, suffering, misery, and grief, which are the result of identification with the psychosomatic machine. That is to say, with the body and mind. The students were listening attentively. <laughs> and in this way, the guru taught them the truth of non-dualism. <laughs> so one day it happened 
the living truth, the guru was walking through a forest which was covered with very dense and thick grass. Along the way, he noticed a water well which was hidden and covered by the thick grass. Now, to illustrate the teaching of non-dualism, the guru intentionally fell into the water well. Sometimes gurus jeopardize their own lives to liberate their students from their ignorance about the self and God and I am, by the way. Now, <laughs> according to the understanding of the students, this was a case of pure non-dualism. Whether the guru was out of the well or in the well, in either case, according to the doctrine of non-dualism, there was simply no difference. <laughs> so, being very loyal students, so to speak, when the guru shouted from this water well, please take me out, the students shouted in return, according to our understanding, there is no dualism between whether you are in the water well or out of the water well. So in any case, this is a brilliant example of non-dualism. But the guru shouted again from the well, except for this well, everything and everywhere is non-dualism. <laughs> Therefore, you take me out from this well. Now, after taking the guru out of the well, the students were ready to understand non-dualism. <clears throat> Body and mind are the water well, covered by dense grass. <coughs> The sense of I am is the sub-guru who is telling, get out of this water well of body and mind. And after this experience, even you will realize non-dualism. Jesus Christ said, do not spread your pearls before swine. <laughs> The teachings of non-dualism cannot make any change in those men and women whose hearts are involved with the universe of the senses, that is to say, with materialism. On the contrary, the teachings of non-dualism can create more harm if the students are not ready, because it can create lawlessness, disorder, chaos, and lack of discipline in them. Remember, if you want to color your clothes, they should first be cleaned. Otherwise, the color does not look beautiful. We have two minds. One we have brought with us. The other we have from the external universe. This outer mind is a computer, a robot. It cannot liberate you from sickness or old age, from death, sorrow, and suffering. For that, you have your own silent mind, which follows you even after the death of this body. <clears throat> after your death, your money will remain in your bank. Your car will remain in your garage. Your dogs, cats, husband, wives, friends, they will go with you as far as the graveyard. And your body, it will go even a step further. That is to say, into your grave. But the silent friend, your silent mind, the I am, will go with you even after your death. That silent mind, I am, which you never recognized while you were alive, <laughs> will go with you to save you from unknown fear. And this I wish to explain by the following charming story. <laughs> which we haven't heard in a long time. Once upon a time, 
A he lion and a she lion lived in the forest together with great happiness of family life. Now one day the lioness gave birth to twins. <coughs> The he lion went hunting and killed a deer and other animals every day and brought them for a meal to the lioness and the twins. But one day, though he roamed the whole forest, he could not find any deer or any animal. When the blessed sun was going to set in the west in the evening at Agnihotra time, he did find one baby jackal on his way home. He pitied it because it was a baby, and so he held it between his teeth and carefully carried it home to offer to the she-lion, for this was her birthday. <laughs> By the way, well, when he returned home, the lioness said, have you brought any food, sweetheart? <laughs> <laughs> and the lion answered, My dear, I did not find anything today except this jackal cub. And even this jackal cub I did not kill, for I thought to offer it as a birthday gift to you alive. And also, I thought it is a creature much like us, and after all, it is a baby. You know the proverb, never strike a hermit, the sick, a baby, a woman, a clergyman, or a child. Give your life if they need you must, but do not falsify their trust. Now, you eat this and feel better, and in the morning I will bring something else for you. But, sweetheart, said the lioness, you did not kill him because you thought he is a baby. So how can I destroy him for my belly's sake? You know the proverb. No man may plead the death god's might for doing wrath or striking right. So he shall be my third son. And after that reply, she gave the jackal cub her milk and made him very fat. <laughs> and thus the three cubs spent their babyhood and boyhood in the same place, the same family. They went to the same school and university. And the other students did not recognize any difference in their parentage. All three children, startlingly enough, <laughs> received their PhD degree in commerce and psychology, in politics and military sciences, and so on and so forth. <laughs> enemy of our race. Do not go near him. Saying this, the jackal brother ran home, while the other two, seeing their brother running toward home, lost all of their courage and hope, and followed their brother, young jackal. Well, there's a well-known proverb, which is quite right. With one brave leader, the whole army becomes brave, can attack, and defeat the opposite army, though the opposite army may be very powerful and mighty. With one bogus army leader, the whole army becomes bogus. It is attacked and defeated by the opposite army, though that may be very weak and meager. Indeed, this is the very reason why kings take sturdy 
enemy fighters. Heroic, dauntless, and strong men, and shun the cowardly, bogus soldier. <laughs> well, later on, the twin brothers reached home, and they humorously told their parents about how their brother had behaved. Why, you know, they said, the minute he saw that elephant, he ran toward home, courageless and dauntless. <laughs> He could not get far enough, quick enough, away from attack on that elephant. When the jackal heard this, wrath entered his spirit. His blossom lips quivered. His eyes grew red, a frown made two deep wrinkles on his brow, and he spoke, spoke harshly, scolding the twins. The lioness took the jackal aside. In private, she admonished him. You must never, never speak so, my dear. They are your brothers. But her patient pleading filled him with greater anger, and he burst upon her too, protesting, do you think me their inferior in courage, in beauty, in scholarship or science, in application or in skill? What right have they to ridicule me? I am certainly going to kill them. Hearing this brotherly speech, <laughs> the she-lion spoke. Handsome you are, strong and valorous. You have a scholar's brain. But in your family, my dear boy, you <laughs> never Elephants are slain. Now listen carefully, my dear boy. Your mother was a jackal. I fattened you with my own milk because I pitied you, motherless as you were found. Now, while my twins are youngsters and do not know you for a jackal, hurry away and join your own people. If not, they will fight with you one day, and you will tread the path of death. Woe, when the jackal heard this, he was shocked and terror-stricken, and softly and quietly and quickly and surely, he went away to join his own people in the forest. Now I'm asking, do you know that jackal cub? Of course, you know him very well. He is your mind, which is made of the food that you eat. Do you know that forest? The forest is the universe of the senses. And what about the lion and the lioness? They are the cosmic consciousness and cosmic energy. <coughs> You know what are the twins, the lion cubs? They are the individual or personal I am and the impersonal I am. And what about that elephant? The elephant here in this story represents the problems of life and death. Hold on to the sense of I am beyond the relative body and relative mind, and you will be in the universe of bliss, which is a non-dual force, without language, beyond thinking and thought, with the ocean of subjective radio waves, the mother of heavenly music. Nobody can describe this with human thought or human tongue, but you are that non-dual force, I am. And one day soon, you will understand everything. Om Shanti. Shri Brahmananda Saraswati. Any questions? <clears throat> if 
Be careful from that jackal. Be careful from that jackal. Faculty hanging mind. The jackal is the thinking mind. Always fearful. <clears throat> Always fearful. Who have own mind? Well, you have your own mind. Sadly. Not him. Sadly. Sadly. Cosmic. With you are born. With which you are born. <gasps> <coughs> no. No doubt when you go to the market. No doubt when you go to the market. You have the feel of going mind. You have to use your thinking mind. Because you are born ready. Because you are ready. in a foreign country, the marketplace. <coughs> The, the body is the foreign country. <laughs> Below the level of, of the third eye. When you see God, when you see God, don't think. Don't think. <laughs> but think. But feel. I am one with God. I am one with God. Well, you know, body made fear. Do you know what is the best prayer? To cry. To cry. And talk. And laugh. Sai find sai when you cry you find peace you can feel tears of God the grace of God find you cough when you laugh <coughs> you find peace you can feel holy the Stupidity of your thinking mind. Of your thinking mind. <laughs> body mind. Body mind. What is enlightenment? Enlightenment. To see. To see. I am but a fool. I am a first class fool. <clears throat> You are become first class wise. Then you become first class wise. When you become wise, you shout. You shout. <laughs> like Nirmala. Like Nirmala. Uh, I am the only shout. I am the only shout. <laughs> Any other questions? <coughs> What did you mean when you said the mind was fed by the food we eat? What did you mean when you say the mind is fed by the food we eat? There was a phrase in there that... Fadio Katan. 
there's a phrase that you said the jackal was the mind and it was fed by the food. Made by the food ha. that you eat. you feed. Whatever you eat. That becomes your thinking mind. Can you explain that more? Why you think? When you drink. One bottle of liquor. You become quite. You're <laughs> me. Why you eat? Find me food. When you eat nothing food. Some sick food. Your mind becomes tamasic. Dull. Dull. Yeah, I may tasty. Always sleepy. And find me food. And if you eat rajasic food. Find my mingle calling. Then your mind becomes rajasic. I may have very active. Find you from a feed. When you Seed. eat food. sattvic food, you become godly man. You become a godly person. I had four. You become whatever you eat. Therefore, you become whatever you eat. Had four. Be careful with eating and and drinking. Be careful in eating and drinking. And uh, I'm in behavior. And in behavior. Whatever company you have. Whatever company you have. You have the uh, you cannot avoid. You cannot avoid. And contact. Your contact. From that company. From that company. Are you? Have you seen men and Haman Kangi? If you uh, Amen. remain among Kangi, then you cannot avoid. You cannot avoid thinking, thinking of Kangi. Thinking of ah, thinking, 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 kicking. Bob Tanky. Like the kicking of donkeys. If you are amongst horses, you try to become fast fighter. Then you become fast fighter. A horse rider. And among holy men, if you are among holy men, you become God. You become God. Find hand power, find hand uh, powerful. Mind has powerful. Um, uh, power of identity. Power of identity. Find you here in my When you see, read the mathematics, mind becomes mathematician. When you read, read English, anything, Handy mm -hmm. handing. Handy handing. Engineering? Uh huh. Mind becomes handy. Mind becomes an engineer. How about you come behind science? When you read science, your mind becomes scientist. And it's in me. In the same way, why you read about God? When you read about God, your mind becomes God. Your mind becomes God. When you drink liquor, when you drink liquor, 
the whole mind Your mind becomes liquor. <coughs> no doubt. No doubt. No doubt. <coughs> A party where you meditate. Whatever you meditate. Says. You keep. That you. He speak. Speak. Whatever you keep. Whatever you speak. Says you too. That you do. Whatever you do. What you do. Why you become. That you become. Meditate. Speak, do, become.